What is going on, crack tube? I tried recording video yesterday uh, in the tractor while I was disking. Uh, those Hinnaker cabs are really nice, but mother God, are they loud. And for whatever reason, the audio was just, you couldn't hear most of, I mean, you hear most of what I was saying, but not a lot of it. So I was like, ah, to hell with it. I'll just come out today and uh, record. So I, uh, I started field work. Uh, we had a couple days where it dried out really nice. And my buddy Tommy and I were talking um, I haven't done anything in this field for, for a year. I, I didn't plant sorghum last year. This is where I had the sorghum planted. I got it one more year. As far as I know, at least it's one more year on the lease. Um, don't know what's going to happen with it. The owners have approached me about buying it. Like I got the money to buy it at $10,000 an acre. So I figured, well, we'll get one last hurrah out of this. Uh, my buddy Tommy approached me about planting oats and we'll get them uh please watch me my holding my phone up <laughs> hope you don't think i'm actually like recording them <laughs> anyway he can approach me and ask me about you know if i plant oats you know, he'll buy the seed pay the fuel i guess and i'll uh plant the oats we'll bail it up transport it back to his place and i had said well wrap it up over there um so we had kind of on and off rain we really kind of missed out in the snow which was fine by me i can't stand dealing with the freaking snow anyway um but i uh said well we're supposed to get it. it's supposed to rain today actually the showers i'm feeling some drops now uh, the ground was dry. I was actually kicking a little bit of dust, which I was pretty happy with. But this is all kind of overgrown and whatnot. There's all these freaking... All these freaking things here and whatever else. And I finally got my offset disc back from my neighbor. He had borrowed it last year. I didn't have it. So... Um, I came out and started disking and... I mean, it did a pretty good job. There's still some clumps in here. There's still a few clumps, which I, I knew was going to happen. Not surprised. It was only... I just wanted to disc it, and I should have done it in the fall. Let it rot over the winter. Didn't get that far. Didn't have the disc. So, now, got the disc home day before yesterday. I did the four acres in the back behind the barn and the eight acres here. So, we're going to have about 12 acres We've kind of talked about it. We might plant corn afterwards. I don't know. Kind of uh, throwing some ideas around. Uh, who, who knows at this point. Um, this is just... It did a nice job from what it was. You'll see in the disking part. Because I actually did about like I don't know, four minutes of disking. <coughs> How tall it was and whatnot. That 225 disc does a hell of a job chewing up the ground it would be a lot better i do got to put new discs on the front that it needs uh i just ain't got the money for it right now unfortunately but i think if i put new discs on the front of that thing it would really chew up the ground a lot better the only thing i don't like is up here when you make the turn with it it don't really i can Get in there. See what it does? It doesn't when you make the turn. And again, this is just a initial run over it. I just wanted to kind of chew it up, just kind of break it up a little bit. Uh, it's supposed to rain the next few days. And a couple, you know, decent days and then rain again. I'm gonna let it break down. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna get my cousin's chisel plow and chisel it or maybe just run the disc over it again uh that's uh that, that's an option too i guess arms getting tired i don't freaking work this way oh well so that was uh 
that was the, the game plan at least and we're gonna go from there and see what happens we're gonna probably gonna be another week or so before or two weeks maybe even before i get in the field and if he wants to plant oats and we gotta get a hurry on this because we don't want it too warm um i know this field is pretty dry the field in the back is pretty dry they should dry out quick a lot of gravel here and they tend to dry out quick so for your enjoyment listen to the sound of my people here is four minutes of me driving around with the john deere 4000 and the john deere 225 offset Um, pretty boring job. I keep telling the, the kids they can do it. Uh, Lucas asked me how come he wasn't doing it yesterday when I snapped him. And I'm like, oh, he's like, well, I'm in school. 
This is more important in school. They don't teach nothing there. You learn more here. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. So, thanks for tuning in this long, keeping up with my uh, shenanigans here. Uh, appreciate everyone who's watching, liking, subscribing. You know, the comments and stuff like that. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully, this video gets uploaded a lot faster than my last video. It took like 24 hours and like four or five attempts to get the video up. I actually had to go to work and steal the Wi-Fi in order to upload a video. So maybe uh, maybe I can get something going here or yeah, I can get something uploaded relatively quickly. Um, so at the end of every YouTube video, you're supposed to say comment, like, subscribe, click the bell icon for instant notification of every time I load up a video and guys we'll talk to you bye